I don't know about you, but spring where I am is guess the weather. Will it be warm, cold, rain, snow? We don't know. So I'm gonna make a quilted skirt so we can be cozy and breezy at the same time, like spring. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so let's bring up our mood board so we can get sort of like a feel of what I'm trying to do here. So I wanted bright pinks, dark oranges, some greens, kind of bright, springy, florally, flowery. <laughs> now, I don't really like going to the fabric store near my house, mainly because the old ladies that work there are mean and scary. <laughs> I also get overwhelmed by the fabric choices and just usually don't end up buying anything, or I buy stuff I don't actually need because I want it all and I love fabric. So I usually just buy it online. So this is the fabric I ordered online. Looks nice, it's all good. So the colors I want. And this is the fabric I got. It's not quite the same colors, which uh, happens sometimes with online ordering. So we're just gonna go with it. Cause I don't wanna pay another $12 for shipping. So the pattern I'm gonna do for like the patchwork part is this. I made this bag a few months ago, just like with leftover scraps. And I thought this pattern would look kind of cool as a skirt and like using the different colors. All right, so let's go do some stuff. Okay, so this is the pattern I'm gonna use. Um, it's just like a mini skirt with no darts. So I'm just gonna take off a bit off the waistband because we're adding a waistband. And I've got my little my little quilt pattern. Oh, I think that's gonna work. I wasn't expecting it to work, but I think, cause I kinda want this like two on each side. Cause this is half a skirt, so two rows on each side. I mean, it's obviously gonna be more. <laughs> than two um, because there's more space down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start out by cutting our little rectangles out of our fabric. There's always like a moment before I start any project where I'm like, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> and it's like this kind of overwhelm. But I find like once I start like actually doing it, you realize it's not that bad. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out how I want to lay out my rectangles. So far, I think this is what I'm gonna do. So like one column will be like one pattern and the other column will be like basically like the reverse of that. I don't know if I have enough of these, but I cut out enough for now. I'll probably have to cut out more rectangles, but I'll worry about that when we get there. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna start sewing the, the rectangles together. I'm gonna do it in columns and then in rows. Oh no, yeah, I'm gonna, you know what I mean? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna sew each column and then I'm gonna sew the and then I'm gonna sew the columns together. That's what we're doing. Okay. So I got some of the rectangle columns made yesterday, and I cut out some more rectangles because I ran out. I figure I need about 12 rectangle columns, so like three for each panel, so six in the front, six in the back. And right now I have about seven and a half, so gotta, gotta keep sewing. <laughs> so I've decided to make the color blocks random. I was gonna do it in a pattern, but I think it looks better random. Mainly because I don't like the colors that much. It's not what I had in mind at all. <laughs> and I think like kind of randomizing it may sort of make it look a little better. Okay, so I'm just going through these things and trying to like figure out which grouping goes best together. I'm doing them in threes and then I might have to add a few on like the bottom part just for the skirt. But for now we're just gonna do in threes and then we'll go from there. I am kind of tired today, so I don't want to do too much. I'm not really in the mood. So the plan for the rest of the day is to sew my groups of three together and cut out the lining and continue on tomorrow. So basically what I'm doing is using the lining as the pattern to cut out the color block part. I did add some more to widen it a bit because it didn't quite fit. And so I'm just gonna cut out the front and the back Darn it. I'll clean that up later. All right, 
so now we have our front and our back and we can start quilting. So I got this when I was making a quilted jacket like years ago. I, like, I do wear that jacket all the time. I love it. It's so comfy. It's like wearing a blanket. <laughs> so I'm going to cut out. Okay. So normally for like quilting clothes, you would do them in like... Mm, I'm, I'm not doing it that way. I did do it this way for the jacket and it turned out fine for the most part, so... So I sandwiched the three pieces together, our lining, our cotton batting, and our outer part. And then I just base stitched down the sides and then in the middle, just so it doesn't move around, hopefully. I'm gonna keep the clips in anyway because they're handy and hopefully it doesn't move around on me. Now I'm not a quilting expert, so if you are, please don't yell at me. I know there are a few ways of doing this. I've seen people do this, I think, or I just imagined it, I don't know, but it feels right to me. <laughs> now, this is, <laughs> this drawing is really bad, I apologize. But this is the sort of thing I wanna do for the quilting part. If you can make sense of this, I'm impressed. <laughs> You'll see. It'll make more sense. Maybe. I don't know. So I'm going to start by making a grid to work off of. So I need a ruler. I don't know where I put mine. Oh, ah. Okay. I figure I should do math. Proper math for this. Which has never been my strong suit. So I'm going to do it spaced out in threes because the shortest part is 18 inches across. And I can break that down into three inches for each going across. Okay, so we got our grid for the most part. It's a little wonky in some areas, but it'll be fine. So I wanted the, the quilting part pattern to sort of juxtapose the like straight lines and bring in more like curved lines. Kind of going back to like the flower spring kind of feel. I think it will work. That's what we're doing, so. <laughs> Get back to tracing my bowl. almost out of thread already and I bought this new for this project and I've barely started quilting so uh, off to the fabric store I guess that I love and enjoy and have a great time at <laughs> oh I have a gift card though It all comes together. So I finished quilting everything yesterday. I'm pretty sure this was just a standard quilt pattern. I don't know, I'm not super familiar with quilting and the different quilting styles. I just wanted it to look like flowers. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It's not perfect by any means and it is a little puckery. And then I just finished the edges with my serger. I only have black thread in my serger and I don't like changing it. Everything's usually finished in black thread <laughs> until it runs out. So the first thing we're gonna do is sew up the sides and then on the other side do the zipper. But we're gonna do the waistband first though. I've kind of given up on lining things up, so it's just sorta of is what it is at this point. <laughs> now we just gotta do the waistband part. So we're gonna do the waistband and everything else with this hot pink. I wanted to do it in just like one long piece because I don't wanna have to line up um, seams and stuff. Just, you know, for my own sanity. Okay, so we're gonna add the invisible zipper. So after a mild meltdown, because zippers are confusing, and really I was probably just hungry, so I went and ate some leftover chili. This is where we're at with our skirt. We're almost done. So basically right now, I'm just trying to figure out the fit because it is still technically A-line. And I'm thinking about bringing it in a little bit on the sides, just to like give it a better shape. 
I think it just smooths it out a little bit more, like not too much off the, the sides. Just like where it turns into a triangle. <laughs> Smoothing out the triangle. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then we just have to do the hem. And we're done. So after 200 meters of thread, we did it. It does kind of remind me of something I would have made as a kid, mostly like the colors. Again, they were not the colors I wanted, they were the colors I ended up with. It wasn't quite the vision I had in mind. It is very comfortable, it does feel like wearing a blanket. But I think this outfit needs one more thing. My original quilted jacket. So now we can be extra cozy. And honestly, I might never take this off. It's very cozy, and that's all I want in life, really. What do you think, George? But now I'm ready for spring, even though it's almost summer. I'm a little behind, but oh well. And then thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.